Welcome to the Android channel and today we are going to have a roundup of Google's keynote today and the first day of the Google I.O. conference or for developer conference in uh, California. Google I.O. 2016 kicked off today with of course a one hour and 55, 56 minute keynote and the, there were some surprises a little bit. There were some surprises on the side where things that they were announcing didn't or weren't announced really. So uh, basically um, today they were of course trying out their brand new uh, theater where uh, they talked about all sorts of little things. Uh, one of the things that they talked about of course is Google Voice. Google Voice you know has been lacking or really uh, being rather behind the technologies of competitors like Siri Cortana. Now Google Voice is getting much more helpful and much more intelligent in the conversation. So it will now react more to what you have to say, what you want to ask, what's an interesting feature. It will keep track of a conversation that you had with, uh, with it in order to understand what you want or what you're asking. So that's going to be quite interesting. Uh, they are really making efforts to make this Google Voice a much better experience. That's quite cool, actually. Um, other things that they've announced is the new Google Home. You know, they couldn't just stay back and say, well, we're going to let everybody do something. This is clearly a competition or a, a product that will compete with the Amazon Echo. It will bring the Google Assist Assistant into your home and it of course will interact with all your technology um, you know Google isn't content in letting Amazon be the only one with a smart gadget sitting in your home so uh, they announced that uh, the um, Google Home will have of course a home stylish speaker and microphone combo with uh, they were talking about you know great sound rich bass and good uh, eye fidelity for music, for anything, it listens to you. Uh, Google Home will be able to connect with smart home devices like light switches, speakers, allow you to control your smart home with simple voice commands. Uh, there was a demonstration which was really cool that you know the, the, the children is asking astronomy questions and then he wants to see something. So he asked, oh, can, you, uh, can you show me this on the TV? And the TV just switches to that picture of that astronomy. Uh, question which is pretty pretty interesting uh, so we'll see how this goes Android N that was a big surprise we were everybody would we was thinking okay today we will know what N stands for no I guess uh, even Google doesn't know what N stands for because what happened is that the uh, Android N not only did they not say what it means they are sending us to this web page android.com slash N if you guys want to vote android.com slash N they want you to just enter here. For example, I could put Nutella and press the submit button. You can vote for your delicious treat with the letter N that will be eventually the name of the Google um, operating system, Android 7. Pretty cool when you think. You vote. So I guess even, even Google doesn't know how to name this version of uh, Google. They're asking everybody to do it. Uh, kind of interesting. Uh, they were announcing Allo and Duo. You know, another place where Android isn't that cool is the messaging side of Android uh, apps and phones. Well, they've announced a lot of new stuff. Uh, Allo will interact more with what's happening, with what is possible. And they will actually have a more uh, interaction because you can ID identify and look at pictures and look at what you're actually your conversation um, and it will even have like you know uh, preset answers that if you can't really answer quickly uh, well it will say oh okay here's preset answers according to what I'm seeing and what's happening so uh, that was kind of interesting the demonstration was cool uh, duo kind of a FaceTime equivalent basically um, same type but except for video but with a promise that even if your connections bad 
it's still gonna work well so that's kind of interesting um, it does show that there's lots of snooping around because it can ID everything you do so it must be looking at everything you're doing uh, that's for sure so it's uh, interesting to see so uh, that's gonna be interesting to see what is gonna happen with that a uh, little look into something that's very interesting daydream it's bringing powerful virtual reality to your Android phone so daydream this is the picture they were showing so we guess this is maybe what it's gonna look like and what it does is actually this is you know most virtual reality headsets work with a, a really powerful computer or with a powerful machine of some sort this one is to work with Android phones and tablets that is making it real interesting so um, they're of course introducing the controller specifically designed to be used in virtual reality and uh, it will be a non cardboard as, uh, headset as they have cardboard of course going to be interesting to see how this works and of course a few things about Android Wear apps uh, the, the biggest note of course about Android Wear is not just because Android Wear is quite popular lots of stuff are sold and uh, they're, they're, they're doing well on that side but uh, what they're doing now is that Android Wear apps will now work without a phone there's gonna be smart replies to make responding, responding uh, easy and fast so that's uh, going to be interesting uh, lots of improvements here so uh, that's gonna be nice and finally, uh, Android Studio 2.0, they were showing all sorts of little things here. But one of the inter interesting things is uh, there's going to be something called Android Instant Apps. And that means that instead of loading a full app to do something, the Android Instant Apps download only a little part of an app, the only part that is needed to actually have the app working. So that makes some apps much faster, and that will make, of course, uh, some of the videos and the stuff that you need faster to uh, actually operate and load on your phones. So that's going to be an interesting part also. So that's pretty much what we have for news of the first day of the Google Keynote. Tomorrow there's a lot of stuff apparently about Chromebooks, so for those that are interested in that, we'll try to bring an update. Uh, if I can, it's going to be a little complex tomorrow. But I uh, hope you enjoyed this little roundup of what uh, they announced. And um, this is basically the most important stuff that they were announcing today. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to this Android channel. We'll have lots of Android videos, gameplay videos, all sorts of app videos, and all sorts of interesting Android stuff. So why not stick with us? This channel is going to be more and more popular and used uh, as time goes by. I will uh, really turn this into a very um, interesting Android channel to help everybody. So hope that uh, everyone stays on board. You can subscribe. You'll know when videos are online. You can, uh, of course, give us thumbs up if you like the videos. And I hope that you enjoy our videos. Thank you for watching.